God's word that when life is crushing you, you can crush it back. Because mm. there's power to overcome it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good. 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 Okay. Get on. Mm-hmm. So, Papa, we're good to go. Okay. Um, listeners, I want to thank God for this opportunity that God has given to us. Today, briefly, I want to share with you the power to solve problems. Mm. Let's quickly turn to Genesis chapter 16, especially in verse 13. Yemwe that's why I want to encourage you to experience God's power to solve problems. So I want my pastor, Pastor Emma, to read the chief version, mm. then I will read the English version, the power to solve problems. Mm. Okay. Genesis chapter 16, verse number 13. Most in whom I did, I did do this year, you may do me and son. The bachelor or say, Never a day a fray. Now, fray a radi are on a no cassa any din say. Wouldn't it, Unyankupon are Uhunu a dear? Now, I say, May Hunu de Uhumen Ampa. Amen. Amen. So, this is the accounts of Hagar who had been driven out of Sarah's home. And she went to a place that is so terrible that she feels like life is crushing her. Mm-hmm. There was no water, there was no food, and there was no one to help her. All of us experience that thing. There are times we come to a point in our life or in our work with God when we feel like life is crushing us. Mm-hmm. So, in this story, we see that Hagar cried to God mm. and the Lord spoke to her and the Lord sent an angel to her. So quickly, let me give you five encouraging things that will help you if life is crushing you. Sabra bodu hiyamo, sinipe du hiyamo. Obisi se wufri o mani mukura ena na humbe tonu. Obisi wufri ebusi weni mukura ena na humbe tonu. Ena midi nyami ya momiye, Midi ya sanka mi wafande mi kwa brochire, sanka mi ni ya midi mi kwa brochira, anka me ye ye pa. That is not the issue. The issue is that if you will fully depend on God, God will solve the problem. So in this verse, we see how God gave Hagar power to solve the problem. So quickly, let me let me give you the five encouraging things or five encouraging principles that will help you to, to to, to experience the power of God to solve the problem. Principle number one. Note it to her. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. You are the God who sees. So principle number one. God sees you. Nyami wahunu niyama na unemuno. Eto da nipe wahunu niya unemu. Obisi ye usha tadia shemi now she came with them one. Now you want to say me what to me? Obua. Now now me ma what ya say say. The woman mu na you want to so be angry. Now me the woman. That's why when when Hagar cried to God, she said, "The Lord who sees." Onya me a woman. And the and me me she will cry say. Onya me a woman. Onya me a woman. Onya me a at in some na ato wano. Yeah. Principle number two. She said, she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, have I also here seen him who sees me? Okay. So number one, God sees you. Number two, God knows everything about your situation. God knows everything about the situation. I quite remember a pastor friend of mine in New York called me to ask me to pray for, for, for him. The one time he said, my brother, pray for me. I feel like everybody is against me. I feel like that, 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 
I have to lose my life. And I said, brother, if you lose your life, you go to hell. And he said, I don't think God answers prayer. And I said, the whole pastor, also fooling around into what can say, what's the meaning? Dear me, no, 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 me to me, me to me, cry. I'm sad, what's it? Me, the yari, me, by yari, me, mommy, yari, me, papa, to swoo. I'm saying, oh, yami, be. So this afternoon, I want to encourage you. Power to solve problem. Number one, God sees you. Number two, God knows everything about your situation. Let me give you number three. Glory. This is my favorite. The same verse, he said, Then she called the name of the Lord God who spoke to her, You are the God who sees. For she said, Have I also here seen him who sees me? Glory to God. So, principle number three. God is working on your situation and he is working in your situation right now. I said right now. God is working on your situation and he is working in your situation right now. Onyami ye bibifa adie no nemo mfa wani hunu ye. Na sana nyame ka kire Adam. O si Adam dana ho. Na me yi unfim padie na me dia bon ba. Na bra Adam da ye ne wahu ne ne na ekoso. Awi nyame amama be ka kire o se dia wo fam no wo ye bibifa ho. Dia wo fam no o ye bibifa mu. Not only working on your situation but also working in your situation right now. So, if you can have power to solve the problem, number one said, God sees you. Number two, God knows everything about your situation. Number three, God is working on your situation and he is working in your situation right now. Number four, look at the same verse. She said, you are the God who sees. For she said, have I also here seen him who sees me? It means that God is great. So principle number four, God is greater. Period. O nyami ye kesi. I thought that ye tu jomono nyami ye kesi nyami ye se. But ye me humu nyami no se niya o siti ye. E wye ya sema me di maun. May God grant you the power to solve problem. Glory to God. Then finally, how can I experience power to solve the problem? Not only God sees you. Not only that God knows everything about your situation. Not only that God is working on your situation or he's working in your situation right now. Not only that God is greater, but also God will use your present situation in your future story for his glory. Mm. Glory to God. Yeah. Mm. God will use your present situation in your future story for his glory. If you, if you read verse 14 and verse 15 carefully, you will discover that what Hagar went through, God used it for her future story to glorify himself. Then quickly, let me give you why power to solve problem. Why the power is necessary. Remember I said power to solve problem. Then why power is necessary. Number one. Power is necessary for victory over the forces of wickedness. And Hallelujah. So why the power is necessary for victory over the forces of wickedness? Number two, why the power is necessary for the breaking of life curses and the establishment of God's blessing? Hallelujah. Why power is necessary? I said for the breaking of life's cases and the establishment of God's blessing. Number three, why power is necessary for victory and triumph in daily living with the capacity to face the future without fear. Glory. 
Coach Sibon has been uh, uh, encouraging us that don't live the life of fear, mm. but live the life of faith. Yeah. If you can have power to solve problem, you must understand the necessity of power. Mm. Why power is necessary, number four, for the conquest of stagnation and delay and sustenance of motion. Ebanache, Sikanache, Bibia Cheno, O Yamima Utumia, Utimi Utimi Diso, Nafeuni Nafa could be the word to an amount. Every Yamasimin country will be said, Oduanamo, SCA. The Lord said, as you tell somebody, said that I am othering your step. May God other your step. May God grant you the power to conquer stagnation and delay and sustain motion in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Why power is necessary, number five, for the fulfillment of kingdom missions and assignment. God has called us so that we can fulfill our mission and kingdom assignment through the anointing of God. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses. So to me, we don't receive the anointing we don't receive the power for show or for entertainment, mm. but we receive the power to cast out demons and to preach the gospel. Receive the anointing to cast out devils in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Why power is necessary? Number number five. For the rescue of loved ones from the clutches of the enemy. I thank God that today this lady has married. Wow. Because of encouraging words. Beloved, we are using all kinds of methods. Don't let any prophet deceive you mm. that there's a spiritual marriage. So come, he will break it, he will do that. Just believe in the word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So power is necessary for the rescue of loved ones from the clutches of the enemy. Mm. Why power is necessary? For the full deployment of life potential. Nyami pese a daddy, nebetima a daddy, just say yes, then you to me say and why. Finally, why power is necessary. Remember, I said power to solve problem. Why power is necessary for the fulfillment of divine purpose and destiny. For the fulfillment of divine purpose and destiny. So these are the few few words that I'm sharing with you to understand that God has given us power to solve problem. And uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Let's read that verse. And this week, get ready. Whatever is trying to conquer you, God will grant you the ability to conquer it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 20. Okay. Read the passage for me. Mm -hmm. The verse I will say, tra adienina. Man of Borosu, Channing, dear, yes, sir, and I say, yes, so said ye to me, ah, a yen mu a juma etienne. Hallelujah. He said, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. He didn't say that according to the power that works in heaven, but the power that works in you. So there are some power that works in us, but we don't believe that there's power working. And that's why we think that uh, we cannot make it. But let me encourage you, the power that works in you is able to do exceeding things, abundant things for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. And it was our papa delivering a powerful message. I mean, in fact, today it feels like it's school. <laughs> <laughs> Studied a lot, but, but before I even hit on the notes, and uh, no, you know, that I've been making the lessons that you know I've drawn for this uh, teaching that you've given us today. Well, there's one of our followers on Twitter, her name is Mother of Decency. Now, before you began, she says, Selector, good evening. Um, my baby daddy, uh, who goes by the name Father of Decency, has been admitted to the Confornoche Hospital emergency uh, by gas because of gas explosion. Please let Papa pray for him. Please. Wow. I would even love to go and visit him if, wow. if she doesn't mind. Uh, I promise. Okay. So, uh, Mother of Decency on Twitter, please get into my DM yes. and um, send me your number. Uh, get into my DM, send me your number, and then I'll let it happen. Papa will go and visit, uh, you know, your baby daddy for you. That's an answer prayer. Definitely we'll do that, right? Tomorrow. I tomorrow. promise to do that. Tomorrow. So I it's promise. a promise. Papa is going to visit I your, promised. Your, 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 your husband for you, all right? So please send... Um, Send me a message right now. Or in fact, let me even lead the way by sending a, uh, a DM. So I'm doing that. Yes. Uh, well, yes, Papa. So thank you very Let's much. Pray for him. Let's pray for him. Father, we thank you for your healing powers. We trust you that your healing hand will be placed upon our brother. Mm. You sent forth your word to heal the sick. We pray that the healing will flow as never before. Any demonic influence over the person's life, we crush it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we also pray that the anointing will break every yoke in his life. Thank you for hearing us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much, Papa. He okay. says, this is the power to solve problems. Mm-hmm. Power to solve problems. Uh, here are some of the things that I noted and learned. It says, God sees you. Mm-hmm. 